Um, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the September 27th regular meeting of the Town of Osney. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This evening we have a very short meeting, uh, but I do have many announcements to share just to make up for it. Um, as we have been hard at work in the town of Austin on a variety of exciting projects. Before we get to that, I want to remind everyone that today is National Voter Registration Day. We are truly at a pivotal time in national politics. And whatever your political beliefs, I'm sure you will agree that the stakes are especially high this time around. Our country is slowly creeping out of a recession, our housing market is rebounding, and many of us are starting to spend the way we once did, albeit with trepidation. The upcoming election has the ability to influence this recovery, or the outcome of it, I should say. For everyone out there who thinks their vote doesn't count, just remember, you shouldn't complain about the outcomes if you do not participate. So I'm hopeful that everybody, <coughs> if you're not registered, that you Please do that. Um, you can now do it online. It takes about two minutes. You can go to nationalvoterregistrationday.org and register online, or you can have a paper form mailed in and postmarked by October 14th to allow you to vote in the November 8th, 2016 election. You can also apply in person at the Westchester County Board of Elections through October 19th, 2016 on Coropa Street in White Plains. If you need an absentee ballot, you can download an application for one or request one be sent to you by mail at www.elections.ny.gov and also Google Board of Elections in Westchester County and there is one that with the specific address to send back to the Westchester County Board of Elections. You can also pick them up at your assembly office you can pick it up at the town office i'm guessing the clerk's yes. office has them senator carlucci's office has them so they're widely available so take this opportunity open door is doing a national um uh, voter registration drive i believe austin children's center is participating and there's lots of easy ways to register to vote so please take this opportunity to do so i'm taking the opportunity to talk about it today a national uh, voter registration get out the vote day this Thursday, be sure to visit the Austin Community Center for the annual Senior Fair, sponsored by Assemblywoman Sandy Galef and State Senator David Carlucci. You can visit over 50 local vendors and get an idea of all the resources that are available to our seniors and their caregivers in our community. The event begins at 10 a.m. and lasts until 1 p.m. Again, that's at the Austin Community Center. On Thursday night, we have two ribbon cuttings in the village to celebrate some exciting movement of businesses, including the official opening of Hudson Link's new building at 23 State Street at 5 p.m. and Family Veteran Care at 320 North Highland Avenue at 6.30 p.m. We also got to visit First Village Coffee yesterday afternoon uh, with some members of the staff in our town village offices. And I can tell you that the coffee they are pulling is top notch. Make sure as is the chai, I believe, I've heard. Um, make sure to stop in and see them at 123 Main Street and add something delicious to your day. They are sourcing from local vendors for all their delicious baked goods, uh, so enjoy. On Friday evening, join Galata House in celebrating their one-year anniversary with an event at the Doubletree Tarrytown. Enjoy complimentary punch, appetizers, and live music, and spend some time celebrating the tremendous work Galata House has done for the greater Austin community to date. If this is what they can do in one year, I cannot even imagine what's going to happen in the next one. Visit Galata House, that's G-U-L-L-O-T-T-A, house.org for more information. On Saturday, October 1st, that's this Saturday, don't miss Green Austin's community-wide tag sale. While registration is closed for folks who want to sell, Treasure hunters can map out your trail online by visiting www.greenossening.org. And that, I think there also is available on Facebook. 
The sale will be between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. all over Austin. Lots of people do participate in this. I'm not sure what the number is at this point, but check it out online and start planning your day now, just in case there's a rain date of Sunday, October 2nd. But that's the rain date, folks. Saturday, October 1st is the main day, and we're hoping for great weather. In between treasure halls, stop by Market Square also this Saturday for Fall Family Fun Day, hosted by the Austin Recreation Department. Between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m., enjoy pumpkin painting, hay rides, a pie-eating contest, live music, face painting, everyone's favorite, apple cider, and donuts. Come down for this awesome free event to kick off the fall season in Austin. On Saturday night, the Baker Collier Christmas Cheer Fund will be holding a, a fundraiser at Scarborough Presbyterian Church in Briarcliff Manor, featuring art, literature, and music of the Hudson Valley by world-renowned countertenor Nicholas Tamania and Austin's own Rachel Alexander on violin. The concert begins at 6 p.m. I believe there's also some other events associated with it uh, celebrating the arts, um, so please check it out at the Baker Collier Christmas Cheer Fund.com. We are also continuing our plans for New York State's Organ Donor Enrollment Day, scheduled for next Thursday, October 6th. Support Team Ossining. Next Thursday, volunteers from all over the state will hit the streets to get people to join the National Registry. Did you know that of the 120,000 Americans waiting for organ transplants, 10,000 are New Yorkers? And if that wasn't bad enough, New, Yorker, New York is also 50 out of 50 in the U.S. for organ donor enrollment. So we are partnering with our friends around the community to change that. Team Austin with volunteers representing the town, <coughs> village, OVAC, that's the Volunteer Ambulance Corps, Austin Public Libraries, Austin Schools, Austin Police Department, Austin Fire Department, the Greater Austin Chamber of Commerce, and the offices of Assemblywoman Sandy Galef, State Senator David Carlucci, and County Legislator Catherine Borgia will be hitting the streets in Austin all day on Thursday to get our community informed and enrolled. We hope to see you at Walgreens, Dee Dee's Diner, the Wobble Cafe, the Landmark Diner, the Austin Public Library, Club Fit, and the Joseph G. Caputo Community Center, and at Open Doors Voter Registration Table. You will recognize Team Austin by our brightly colored t-shirts. Check out enrollmentday.org for more information on this exciting event and if you'd like to volunteer, we will welcome your help. Finally, it's not too soon to start thinking about Halloween because Austin Historic Cemeteries Conservancy has put their tickets on sale for the 2016 Haunted Hayride at Cedar Lane Park on Saturday, October 29th. This was a fantastic success last year and growing and growing. So hop on now to get your tickets at Forest of Fears. Forest O. Fears. Forest Oh, thank you. I was just going to say, there's only one F. Okay, forestofears.org. That's F-O-R-E-S-T-O-F-E-A-R-S.org for more information or to purchase tickets, which are only available online. That's it, online, folks, and are anticipated to sell out quickly. New this year is the Gyro Uno food truck and food from the Wobble Cafe, a fortune teller, old-fashioned carnival games, and DJ Johnny G spinning some scary good tunes. Proceeds go to support the Austin Historic uh, Conservancy, Cemetery Conservancy, so make sure to buy your tickets today. Check out the two cool t-shirts on the website, too. Um, they also are still looking for volunteers. Okay. You have that in there? I, I didn't I have that. Okay. No. I just want to I add. They had, had all no, we, there, we still, um, they, they're still looking for some volunteers, mostly adults. They have a lot of children, although if there are some children out there who would like to um, be part of it, they would absolutely accept. Um, they have certain scenes um, and also the carnival that we're talking about. So they just need a little bit of help. So if anybody out there would um, like to help them, um, you can tell them how to get in touch. Uh, I don't have that information. You know what? Um, I think Fern Quesada um, is the best way, and or you can go to the Austin Historic Cemeteries Conservancy, and there's probably right. an email there. You can email to let them know that you're interested in volunteering. That would be a good way to do that. All right. So let me just ask any of my board colleagues if you have any additional announcements. Madam Supervisor, um, 
forgot to take the After roll call. After I take the roll call, <laughs> I do have an announcement. Okay. But we'll do roll call first. Okay. I, I, really, I obviously don't like that roll call because I always forget about it. So sorry, but well, you know what? Announcements can go before the roll call. Now we'll get into the meeting. T Town council person Detori, present. Town council person Jeffrey, present. Town council person Feldman, here. And Supervisor Levenberg, I'm here. Okay. Now the announcement I have is on behalf uh, the president of the Austin Historical Society requested that I make this announcement. Great. The trustees and the officers of the Austin Historical Society Museum invite you to join us at our 85th anniversary dinner and silent auction, Friday, October 14th, 2016, at 6 p.m. at the Briarcliff Manor, 25 Studio Hill Road, Briarcliff Manor, New York. There will be valet parking. The fee is $75 per person and includes a sit-down dinner, um, beer, wine, and soda but you must, there's going to be limited seating, so contact the Historical Society by calling 941-0001. Will there also be the wonderful silent auction that there always is? Absolutely. Okay, well, they always have a fantastic silent auction, and they bring stuff out of the archives. I don't know where they have, uh, um, I think John Wonderlick frames a whole bunch of wonderful artwork and they have all sorts of fabulous things that you would expect from a historical society very interesting um objects de art i would say and other things yeah we also have members of the society that do donate from their own private collections right uh and we also have a lot of vendors or a lot of uh, merchants that, that donate donate things. Right, baskets and things so like that so it's a really it's, great uh, it's a nice auction. array of items it is really nice uh, we'll move on to liaison reports. What's the report on? No? Legislative? Recreation Board? Fire Department? Boat and Canoe Club? Anything? Anybody? No? Okay. Come on. Do we have any departmental reports? Not, that, not tonight that are going to be out loud, just the ones that we're accepting. Okay. Uh, do we have any public comments on an agenda item? For the large pop up. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All at once. <laughs> okay, we'll move on to board resolutions. Resolve the town board of the town of Austin hereby approves the September 13th, 2016 minutes of the regular meeting as presented. Have a motion? Second. Anybody have any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed? Everybody Aye. was at all these Opposed meetings. We don't have to have any abstentions. Resolve the town board of the town of Austin hereby approves the September 20th, 2016 minutes of the special meeting that was presented. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? <coughs> Resolved the Town Board of the Town of Austin hereby approves the voucher detail report dated September 27, 2016, in the amount of $265,477.08. Motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? Eddie? Oh, well. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there were a couple bills um, of particular interest, uh, one of which, um, as the public following and certainly the board knows, the town auctioned a bunch of properties. And so the village is a stakeholder in some of those properties, and they also had taxes due. So the town had to cut a check to the village for their, their outstanding property taxes due. So that's about $35,000. Uh, we also recently <coughs> had our ban, which is our bond anticipation note rollover, and there were about $10,000 worth of closing costs and, and various uh, charges associated with that. It does seem like a lot of money and that's why we try to bundle it together. So rather than have many borrows throughout the year, we try to consolidate everything together so that those costs are reduced as much as possible. Um, and this is you know, something we do maybe once or twice a year, so it's, it's not outrageous. Um, the only other thing I would note is that um, our water bills for all of our parks, including our spray park, uh, were on this particular voucher detail. 
Um, it was about $23,000, so it's up a little bit from what we had projected um, in the Spray Park. But in Ryder Park, we found a giant leak between last summer and this summer, so it's actually well reduced in Ryder Park from where it was. So uh, we can offer a big thanks to Mario Villardo, our parks foreman, and his crew uh, for sussing out that leak and fixing it and saving the town uh, many thousands of dollars uh, in one year. I'm sure the village is very happy about that, too. <laughs> And I'm sure that there were some associated expenses, although I can't remember exactly which one, with some of the work that's been uh, continuing at Shine House. And as many of you know, there was a, a water line that uh, we discovered was broken there, fresh water, which actually explains why the water in the various places where water usually sits or comes out in the Shine House was always leaving rusty stains. So we have had to replace that water pipe um, at uh, Cedar Lane Park, and it was com the job was completed today. The water is up and running, and won't have rusty colored sinks and toilets anymore. We're very excited about that. Awesome, it is. And I, I think that the water actually wasn't even potable. It wasn't drinkable oh, because really? it was so discolored. And I don't think anybody ever knew exactly why, but because of all the work that we've been doing over there, and the drainage and the um, digging covered this uh, and we were able to fix it so it, is it possible right? if we can have another meeting where we can talk about where What's we are in yes, shine house and all, you know we're getting both, there we're both very financially very, very, and in terms yes, of scheduling you're we still within the original oh, budget, ex i believe so. excellent love to hear that yes <laughs> all right um okay so anyway um just since we were just we're, I think we're done discussing the voucher detail mm -hmm. unless anybody has any other questions and I think we had a motion and a second is that true yes Madam Clerk, okay. In that case, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Extension. <coughs> Whereas the town board of the town of Ossing had previously moved the Tuesday, October 11th legislative session to Wednesday, October 12th to account for the Yom Kippur holiday and was the date of the meeting did not properly allow for observance of the holiday. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Ossing does hereby reschedule the aforementioned meeting to Thursday, October 13th, 2016, at 9 a.m. at 16 Croton Avenue on the third floor conference room. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. So I'd just like to uh, remind everybody that um, at our reorg meeting in January of 2016, we identified several meeting dates that needed to be moved to properly observe a variety of holidays and scheduling conflicts, including the meeting that was scheduled for Tuesday, October 11th, which fell on the Jewish holiday of Yom Kippur. Maybe because it was one of the first meetings that I was at, I don't know how, but I miscalculated that actually the date that you observe Yom Kippur is the day after the 11th, being the 12th. We had shifted the meeting originally to the 12th, so that didn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense. So unfortunately, um, as we're getting closer to the holidays, this was discovered, and we are now shifting it again to Thursday. It's going to hopefully be a very short meeting to accept minutes, pay bills, and address any pressing business that cannot wait until the next regularly scheduled meeting. Are there any questions or further discussion? Without hearing any, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention. Resolved the town board of the town of Ossing hereby calls for a public hearing to be held on Tuesday, October 18th at 7.30 p.m. on the first floor boardroom, Town Village Hall, 16 Croton Avenue, Austin, New York, in the matter of Local Law Number 9 of 2016 regarding the extension of the imp imposition of a temporary moratorium on development within the town of Ossing to allow for a planning and zoning analysis analysis consistent with the town's comprehensive plan. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Okay, and just to remind the public, uh, back in June of 2016, the town board passed a local law enacting a development moratorium in the town of Austin, which was scheduled to last four months. The reason for the moratorium was to allow for the members of this board to examine the recommendations and suggestions made in the comprehensive plan and study whether they were appropriate to adopt into the town code by local law. Our planning consultant, David Stolman of FP Clark, submitted to this board an analysis of the recommendations and then began work on, on developing a local law to reflect those findings. We've had um, some 
um, work sessions to discuss that. At this time, that conversation is not yet complete, nor is the local law, and we expect it will take another uh, at least few weeks and possibly longer to wrap up. At the advice of council, we will be proposing an additional local law to extend the moratorium until such time as the board sees the full evaluation conducted by Mr. Stolman and the consequent local laws crafted, vetted by the public, and adopted. We will be holding a special meeting at our October 18th work session for just this purpose, a special meeting slash public hearing. Any questions, comments, et cetera? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Resolve the town board. The town of Austin hereby accepts the planning board work session meeting minutes dated September the 7th, 2016. I have a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstention. Monthly reports resolved the town board. The town of Austin hereby accepts the following monthly reports for August 2016. Tax Receiver's Office, Dale Cemetery, and the Town Senior Center. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Attention. That takes us to visitor recognition. Is there anyone who would like to address the board? Not seeing anyone, may I have a motion to adjourn to executive session for personnel, contract uh, litigation, or contracts and potential litigation? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Attention. Okay, well, Happy New Year to all of our Jewish friends who will be celebrating Rosh Hashanah starting at sundown on Sunday, October 2nd. May you all have a very sweet year. And that's true for everybody. And we hope you also have a very sweet week. And we will see you all next Tuesday night at our, not next Tuesday night. It's Thursday morning. No, that's no. the following week. Next oh, no. Tuesday night. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday night is our work session. Yes. Right? And we'll see you next Tuesday night. <laughs> Got a little nervous there. And, um, and then we have, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the, um, comprehensive plan and the new local laws. We'll have uh, David Stallman, our, our uh, planner. He will be there to talk about that, and we have a number of other items that we will be adding uh, throughout the week. So please do look out for uh, some of those items on our work, work session agenda and announcement um, when we send it out in our um, e-blast Friday. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Night.